welcome back to Brickwatch. Head down there, subscribe, and join me on this journey where I am putting together a bunch of speed champions, including very many custom ones. I show off the Audi too much, you know, I'll show off a different one. We'll go RX7 FD with custom speed champions like the FD or real speed champions like the Jesco. I'm gonna be putting all of them up on my wall in this big whole thing. You know what? There's a video about it, so don't even worry about it. But I started this series with the poster project. Those posters right there. See, those posters are three different cars. And I noticed one day, hang on a minute, those three cars are lego a bull. <laughs> well, at least these two are the Quattro and the F1, as those have both been in LEGO sets. This was where the issue came up, and this is the topic of today's video. So the McLaren MP4-4, an old F1 car driven by Senna, a rather controversial figure in current day, unfortunately, but he drove that car, the most successful F1 car ever built. And then the poster that I have has all of its... I believe it's winnings on the bottom right there. F Formula One Championship, World Championship 1988. A very cool car, at least. At the minimum, the car is cool. And if you didn't know, LEGO actually released a set of this car uh, today, actually, given when I'm making this video, I'm making it yesterday from when it came out. They released the set. They released a full-size LEGO set of this car. And here's the issue. I could have just gotten this. It's not terrible when it comes to pricing. It's about 80, 90 pounds, I believe. And a lot of people did instantaneously poke their head up at that and be like, you know what, that's really bad. That's not a good price for a Lego set, especially a set like this. And also, a lot of stickers on it. You can see the shell, you can see the shell again, you can see McLaren. And then, in its defense, a couple other things do seem printed on. But for the most part, it is a very sticker-heavy set, just like that. I'm, I'm, I'm growing to stickers a little bit. I still kind of don't like them, though. But it seems like it's more of a shelf display kind of set, and I'm not really going for a shelf display. If you don't know, like I mentioned, the way I'm going to be displaying these speed champions, if I grab these other two poster project cars, is up on the wall, flat like that. That's how they're going to be displayed on this wall as well, in a massive grid. And that's vaguely how I want to display them for the poster project. And these are the two that I have already, as you can see. Perfect two cars uh, already set for this. In fact, <laughs> oh, I'll reveal that uh, we're going to switch to do some other cars first, but there will be a return for the poster project at some point. But these two cars, it just would have stuck out like a sore thumb to have two speed champions, two eight stud wides, st a, a fair few stickers, handful sized <laughs> cars, then, just out of nowhere, for the last one, a massive shelf display type set. It would have stuck out like a sore thumb. I could put it on, I suppose, this, because this is on the farther side and that's there, but it's just, it still wouldn't have worked for me. I wanted a sense of consistency. I wanted a sense of the, the, them, them all matching up, if you get what I mean. So instead, what I did was I went on Rebrickable. The absolute savior, <laughs> this, this channel basically, Rebrickable. Then I went over to this one right here by Amber Seo. And this guy made this, an eight stud wide, mostly, Lego Speed Champion MP4 slash four. Fully designed and fully, even with the stickers, in fact, to be speed champion scale. Now, look, I'm the first guy to hate on stickers. Issue here, there is no stickers because he does get asked, how'd you do the stickers? And he did them in the software. But then there's no other software. There's no other way of getting these stickers. There's not even a JPEG of these stickers anywhere. So I'm kind of stuck because 
I'm gonna have this car, yes, but it's gonna be stickerless entirely. Which is upsetting, but what are you gonna do? Other than the sticker issue, which I will say I'm actually uh, in possession of something that uh, does, uh, you know what? It'll come with the reveal at the end of this video, I suppose. <laughs> but yes, this MP4 slash 4, I bought. It was as simple as the way I buy them normally. If you want a, a video on how I buy these Legos b b Speed Champions and a, a bit of a guide on how I get the custom mocks and whatnot, I did that. And all of the parts eventually arrived. This one was dirt cheap. I, I, I do have to say, if you're going to pick up this, say you already have the... Okay, no, I don't know why you'd be recreating my posters now that I think about it. But say, for any reason, you want an MP4-4 in Speed Champion scale. Say you want one on display with your brand new big scale one that released today. Well, this one, for a mock, was only... 15 pounds, 15 great British quid. It was around that, maybe close to 20 when shipping was uh, taken into account because I always upgrade to at least first class. So shipping, everything, 20 pounds. So about the price of a regular speed champions. Now that's good considering sometimes these custom ones can send you upwards of 40, which, you know, that's for a single speed champion. Thankfully, I've got this channel. Thankfully, I've got my main gaming channel, which is what I do for a living. And that's what funds all of this. But I understand how that wouldn't really be viable for the average guy. But I was able to spend this 20 and then build this Senna. Stick around for the review and showing off this car. Here is the build for the car, the McLaren MP4-4. I will say the build was uh, the build was fun. It was very quick, so I'm going to talk quick because, of course, the build is sped up. The instructions for this are going to be linked in the description. You can go and check them out because, of course, this is, this is an actual person set. So do check out their set and support them and pay them if, they, if you want the car. And, uh, well, not decided if you want the car yet? Let's hear Sid review it. And maybe that'll help you make up your mind. And here it is. The Lego Speed Champion Scale, quote-unquote, McLaren MP4-4. If I want it fit wants to focus on the actual car, there you go. Now, it's a white car, a bright white car, which my camera doesn't like too much just because of the lighting here. But there it is. Now, it is very plain. I also, <laughs> I sort of just put in, what did I even get this guy from? What did I, what did I get this guy from? What's he got? Oh, it's the Koenigsegg guy. I seem to have put the Koenigsegg guy in this. Oh, well, here is the car though. The car on its own with the interior. It's got the, the oh, it's such a fun build, let me tell you. This build had, these were really nice to put together. The suspension on both of these tires, which you can see there done with the little uh, frying pan looking piece that very nice obviously it isn't a frying pan lego piece but it, it looks a lot like it i will say incredibly well done as well is let me see what i can remove here if can i take these out i suppose i can and then let me take that off there are vents there they are the little grill piece the lego grill piece on in there and then when you go to the back there is a little gap there to symbolize where the where the where the vent ends. Very, very amazingly done mock. There is some issues though. I will say it's kind of just because of the it's an F1 car, right? So what are you really gonna do? Some of it is really flimsy. Like the fin, just fit fin, is that the term? The front splitter sort of just really comes off just like that. It also wiggles about a bit more than I would want it to just like oh there you go there you go just like that when you're putting the person in there as well that middle panel really just comes off if you're pressing too hard and then I didn't know that the full front of the car comes off with it <laughs> in fact I can use that to uh, also mention this is gonna okay how am I gonna there you go 
Another thing is that these sides also just kind of block off, right? And I guess it's fine. You can really just like, <laughs> can just come apart. Which, uh, hey, if it was a Lego set, we'd call it a gameplay feature, you know? <laughs> but, yeah, it's alright. It's not the worst because it's a very... F it's an F1 car. Those are made to be flimsy, alright? So, it's not terrible, especially if it's just a display piece. It is rather flimsy, but it still help you it holds up rather nice. The light at the back looks good too. And the spoiler as well. Obviously, you can see where the stickers would go. Marlboro on the white there. Then you got Marlboro on the sides there. The shell, shell, shell logo, shell, and then the Honda and everything down the center. It would be stuff that would go rather nicely. I'm not too upset, though. I will also say that the front tires, like an F1 car, are actually placed uh, a bit tighter than a Speed Champion scale car. The front splitter is six, five, oh, how many? Four, this is six studs wide. Then the tires are about seven studs wide, the front one. Rest of the car is eight studs, thankfully. And then so is the back one. And the wing is about four. It's very well put together. I like this set. And uh, I will probably, if I'm being honest, and you know what, let me actually compare it to this uh, official Lego set here. I will very likely go on and purchase just Mr. Senna. I will probably get that little figure right there. And then I have and then I have this car. But with the with the look it all works. It all works. It's perfect, frankly. The uh and the, the, the little details are really they do show off on this car. And it's uh it was a fun build. I would say it was a very quick build, but it was a fun build. So there you go. Uh, very nice, very good. And of course, now we have absolutely amazingly number one, number two, and number three. The three cars in my posters way back behind me. Oh my God. <laughs> oh God. And I guess I'll figure out how to put them up. Because I did, actually. Well, I spent the last week just looking at them, and uh, it appears I have lost them. <laughs> but I thought the the wall hanger things, the the ones that I talked about that are about like eight pounds, and you get the four 3D printed little Lego things. And I checked it, does work with this car. I bought them and I had them here, and I was gonna wait to for this video, <laughs> and then of course I lose them. What am I doing with myself? Oh, well, I guess. <laughs> Who knows if I'll ever pick up the bigger MP4 slash 4 set. Probably not, though. And uh, if you did want to check this thing out, the link will be in the description. And, um, hey now, the thing that I bought, which you'll know and recognize if you have been following this series, the poster project specifically, well, that is this but that's not before a different set first and that set is coming up very very soon and by that i mean weekly uh maybe i don't know how the channel is gonna work yet it's probably gonna be every other week is a lego speed champion because i only buy them every other week and then the in between weeks is gonna be talking about speed champions like the video i uploaded before about people getting them early and stuff like speed champions you guys want to see your custom speed champions your custom modifications cars i want to see be speed champions ranking speed champions stuff like that that's what we'll do uh but for now i will see you boys in the next one and um that's gonna be about it from me in a it still would be funny if i said in a break no, no, you know what? I just, I think it every time, but every time I'm like, you know what? No, it wouldn't. In a bit. <laughs>